Have you noticed how shampoo and salad dressing are becoming interchangeable these days? Like I'll often find myself washing my hair with my salad dressing and putting shampoo on my salad. I think they should make a TV show about a guy who confuses Sir Isaac Newton with Paul Newman. Like he'll be sitting around the dinner table with his family and he'll ask his son, can you please pass the Sir Isaac Newton salad dressing? <laughs> Have you ever been taking a shower before and you reach for what you think is a shampoo but it turns out to be salad dressing? What's the difference between shampoo and salad dressing? The hell if I know. Have you ever gone to a restaurant before and the waiter come up to you and it says, you want shampoo or salad dressing? No, he says, you want soup or salad? But you thought he said shampoo or salad dressing? Yeah. Have you ever gone to a restaurant before with your mom and she orders the exact same thing that you're about to order so you have to quickly reread the menu and find something else to order? Yeah. Because you know, you don't want to look like a fool and order the exact same thing that your mom just ordered. I mean, how embarrassing is that? Really embarrassing. Here's my impersonation of me grabbing a girl's boobs. Here's my impersonation of me when I hear that somebody's pregnant. Here's my impersonation of me. Yeah! You look nothing like you. <laughs> you do you so good. So I'm in my early 30s. It is, it's good. I enjoy it. Mainly because when I was 13, my parents told me I couldn't start dating until I was 30. But it turns out dating's not what I thought it was going to be like. It turns out dating's more like that movie, Nine and a Half Weeks, with Mickey Rourke and Sandra Bullock. It's also like that movie Angel Heart with Lisa Bonet and Mickey Rourke. And it's kind of like that movie with Don Johnson and Mickey Rourke, the Harley Davidson man, the Marlboro man. And... Here's a list of the famous women who I like to have sex with. Cindy Crawford, Kathy Ireland, Claudia Schiffer, Christina Applegate, Heather Locklear, Terry Hatcher, Pamela Anderson, and Christy Brinkley. This is in the 90s. No 90s. It was all in the 90s. Yes, there was a theme. They're all from the 90s. One day, my friend said to me, cats are not small dogs. And I was like, no shit, why would you say that? I know cats are not small dogs. Why would you say that to me? You think I'm dumb? You think I'm an idiot? You think I'm stupid? Why would you say that to me? Do you hate me? You think I'm a jerk? Why would you say that? Huh? 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 What? What did I do to you? I did nothing. You did something to me and it hurt. It hurt my feelings. My feelings were hurt. Why would you say that to me? Me, me, me. Don't you like me? No, you don't. Why would you say that? Why? 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 Why would you say that? Do you hate me? You hate me? You hate me? Why? 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 Why?
sat on a lot of interesting things. Like a couch, a sofa, a chair, a rocking chair, a bench, a bus bench, another kind of bench, a cat, a dog, a house, a large chair, a small chair, a bowl of porridge, a bowl of porridge that was hot, a cold bore porridge, porridge. I had some porridge the other day. I ate at my friend's house. My friend was like, hey, how do you like the porridge? I was like, it's pretty good porridge. Porridge, 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 porridge. So I'm thinking about buying a snake to wear around my neck so when I'm at home. Just a real casual snake, you know? Something to go along with my slippers and my bathrobe and my gold chain. So I know the kind of snake I'm not gonna get is gonna be a boa constrictor because that could kill me and I don't wanna die by a snake. There's a baby store called Rat on Roll. They forgot to put the shake in it because shaking babies is the number one cause of death for babies next to baby AIDS. I think more babies should have AIDS. How's your wife? Secretary. How's your wife, Dave? Sit. Sit. So I started having sex with my secretary recently. <laughs> or a while ago. We we're having sex on a regular basis for a while and it was purely physical. Then after a while, we started to develop an emotional bond. And then and we fell in love. And so now I'm having sex with both my wife and my secretary. <laughs> but seriously, my wife died recently. I guess that means I'm in a long distance relationship. <laughs> yep, I hear.